Hey, what's up, everyone? This is Jason Tucker, and this is WP Water Cooler's WP Blab episode number. I'm going real slow to mess up his lip syncing. Number 113. <laughs> Today's episode, we're going to be talking about marketing your odds in Las Vegas. But before we get all into that, we got to introduce ourselves. Russ, you are not Bridget. Tell us, Russ, tell us a little bit about yourself. You know, Jason, I could be Bridget. Let me tell you a little bit about Bridget. Um, you know, I feel like something Bridget would do would she would uh, she would want to plug something. So I have something to plug a little bit later. But no, I, I am the only. Um, it can only be one, right? <laughs> um, yeah. Hi, I'm I'm Russ. Um, Former developer at this one company, new developer at another new company. I live in Las Vegas. I just moved into a house. Uh, I have a baby coming on the way. Uh, I just spoke at WordCamp Minneapolis. I have a lot of stuff going on right now. Sure Hi. do, man. You sure do. Well, awesome, dude. We we got some uh, great folks in the uh, in the chat room. We have some folks that are going to be helping us out with show notes. We got we got a lot of stuff going on here. I'm Jason Tucker. You can find me over at Jason Tucker on Twitter. My website is JasonTucker.blog. And um, I do a whole bunch of fun stuff, um, including this show, as well as another show that both Russ and I do called WP Water Cooler, the, the name of this network. So feel free to go take a look at that. We record tomorrow at 11 o'clock Pacific AM in the morning. So feel free to come hang out with us. And we're going to be talking about all sorts of fun stuff. Now, I've had people ask me in the past and I've had some folks ask me recently, why don't you guys come up with topics for WP water cooler? It'd be such a cool way of being able to like come up with a topic and then you can all get in there and talk about it. And the thing is, is that we come up with the topic and then no one shows up to actually talk about the topic. They want to talk about whatever it is they want to talk about. It's like a water cooler. I don't know if you've ever worked in an office and went to the water cooler, but you walk to the water cooler and you stand there and you like fill up your cup. And then you talk about like, Oh, this happened and Oh, that happened. And then you just start BSing about whatever's going on. And that's what WP water cooler is all about is we come and hang out and talk about WordPress stuff. Right, Russ. I mean, for the most part, there there's been many attempts to be like, hey, we're going to talk about this. And then it's like, well, that's not going to work because this person is flying to London or, hey, we're, we we want to talk about this. But, oh, I have this camp coming up. It's very hard to, like, nail down a subject. Um, but to be honest, the last couple shows, especially the ones that I've been on, not because I've been on them myself, but the last couple ones that I've been a part of, us winging it has actually led to some great conversations, especially around like Gutenberg, like finding out that it was like a year and a half of, of announcements or something like that. Those were just like great conversations. And I think sometimes not having a topic is almost as good as having a topic and notes and prepared and, you know, slides and stuff ready to go. I totally agree. And which is exactly what's going on with this particular episode here. We went ultra ultra vague to talk about the fact that we want to talk about marketing, which is not something that both of us do. We don't really do marketing. Now I'm we are, kind of, I'm kind of doing it now. Oh, you're yeah, going to find but I know. Like you build a website, you're doing marketing, but we're not like, we're not like, uh, oh, no. you, you know, it's like we're, 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 we're getting there, but we want to talk about really focusing it on, on Las Vegas, on the Las Vegas side of things and Las Vegas, not in, in the fact that you have to work in Las Vegas or you have to build websites for Las Vegas, but almost in the fact that you could do this Las Vegas style. It's like, not that your like website is going to be the best voted best in Las Vegas. It doesn't need to be that. I mean, those are always hilarious. Those are the things that that crack me up when I see that type of stuff in Vegas walking around and it's like, Oh, you know, best library voted in Las Vegas. You're like, that's great. Like I, I, I love totally get it. I love how it says number one steakhouse and then it says who reviewed it and it was like bugleboy.com. <laughs> 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 and you're like, I've never heard of that. Like, you know, wow. yeah, everyone's number one <laughs> in some category by someone else. Exactly, man. Exactly. Well, hey, I want to say I want to say hi to everyone in the chat room. It's so cool to have you guys here. If you have any questions for Russ and I talking about doing stuff in Las Vegas. Russ lives in Las Vegas. So he, he works for some great folks out there. And um, I just want to make sure that uh, you guys are more than welcome to, to butt in, in the chat room, ask us some questions. We'll be more than happy to, to discuss them. So let, let's talk a little bit about where you started in Vegas. So like you, you've been doing a meetup for a, quite a while and you've met a whole bunch of people, including got jobs because of the fact that you met these folks in Vegas. 
Tell me where, give me the or the origin story of Russ in Vegas. I mean, I was a young boy. It was September. <laughs> um, the, the night was I, blue like this. Almost WordPress I, blue in the background. <laughs> there I was, minding my own business, as you do. <laughs> um, <laughs> so I was, um, I, I was building MySpace layouts for bands. I have a guitar tatted on me and stuff. Um, Fun fact, I've been in Nevada my whole life, so I have an ace of spades on right here, and all nice. the tunings, and all the tuning pigs are actually dice. So, you know, because in Smart. Nevada, it's gambling and stuff. So I've been in Nevada my whole life. I grew up in northern Nevada, Reno, South Lake Tahoe, stuff like that. When I came to Vegas, I was building MySpace layouts, and I was uh, using the MySpace blog to like blog and stuff. And a buddy of mine said, you ought to check out WordPress. And I started checking out WordPress. Um, in cue my insomnia. So my insomnia, I would stay up late every night for long periods of times from like 8 a.m. or 8 p.m. to 8 a.m. And I was like, uh, you know, I'm, I'm going to do something with this time. I'm either going to learn a new skill, learn a new profession, or maybe I'll start cooking meth. You know, like maybe they're going to be a TV show and, you know, I could be the lead. No. So... I, I decided that I was going to learn a new skill. So I started watching a lot of YouTube and I started picking up this WordPress thing. And once somebody told me that you can build your own website on WordPress, host it somewhere, like I was just, I fell in love. Um, so I didn't know much about WordPress. I had some questions. I met a couple people here and there. And, you know, not like it is today where you almost bump into anyone and, they have some kind of interaction with WordPress. Um, but it was on Facebook. Somebody said, hey, there's this meetup. It's going on at this little coffee shop downtown, not too far from where I work right now. But, you know, uh, we're all going to get together. It's like 8 o'clock. So I showed up at this coffee place, and there's like maybe 20 people. And we're running around with computers showing people. Like at the time, I had a theme built on um, – I had a theme – from Woo Themes, when they were still Woo Themes. Um, and I had Jigga Shop running. <laughs> this, was nice. before, this was before WooCommerce. But I had Jigga <laughs> Shop running, and I was selling tickets. Um, and I met John Hawkins, wow. of all people. Um, so, wow. uh, hey, Mitchell, knock it off, man. We're just on the air. You know, that's all. <laughs> <laughs> My dog likes to bark. Uh, so I, I met John Hawkins, and... Hawkins said, hey, man, we do this every month. Come check it out. And I just started participating, you know, showing up, being the loud, obnoxious guy that I still am today. Um, but just, you know, like participating. And I realized that he was the only person um, speaking. He would go for two hours and he would just he would, he would field questions or he'd come up with topics or he would do something. And really, um, I, I started buying John beers and I was like, can I please speak? And I just, I started speaking. And part of that was to push myself into WordPress. Every month I was on the hook to go speak about something. I had to come up with an idea and I had to have the answers and I had to think about questions. Like I put all this kind of pressure on me, um, but I just started doing that and I've been going ever since. And that was October 2011 was my very first meetup. Wow. Wow. Yeah. I know it's a long time, man. It feels like that's... yesterday sometimes. <laughs> um, but but so wow, that's I, crazy. So, so how, how many people were attending those those meet up, those meetups back then? It, we had a small room, um, but I I think the most we had was like you know I think forty people okay. um, that could fit comfortably. You know, especially like around WordCamp time and stuff like. Um, we we would have guest speakers like Chris Lemma or Dre Armada or somebody, you know, they would show up. And um, so we'd get like a little bit bigger of a push and, and they weren't even as big as they are today then too, you know, like it was, right. still, it was still, WordPress is still kind of this networking thing. Like, you know, I didn't know John existed. John introduced me to some other people I didn't know existed. It was still that, not now where you could just, you know, get on Twitter and search for hashtag WordPress and find people. Um, but it was about 40 people and the smallest would be, you know, five, 10 people. Um, 
And, you know, just like Water Cooler, we weren't coming up with topics. It was basically whatever I felt like speaking about, I spoke about. And, you know, if it was relevant, great. If not, you had to listen to me talk for an hour because there's two of us and we have two hours and we're basically splitting that down the line. (laughs) (laughs) But that's basically how I got involved in my local meetup. I just showed up. I I put my money where my mouth is literally and started buying John beers. He said I didn't have to do that, but he's grateful for the beers anyways. Um, And I started building friendships through that. That's cool, man. That's cool. Uh, I I I I kind of started in the sim- similar um, instance of uh, finding finding a meetup at meetup.com, looking for it and going, oh, ooh, this sounds interesting. I should totally jump in there. And then I did exactly what you did, which was like, how can I help? What can I do? What can I? And people love, especially you know, people that are the ones running the meetups. They love folks that want to just jump in and help out. They're like, what? You want to help out? You want to speak? Oh, I'd love for you to speak. And, and that's, that, that's kind of where I get in this, in the idea of, of Las Vegas is Las Vegas is very much so like, like Hollywood in the sense that you have folks that are working in the entertainment industry of some sort, and they're wanting to kind of put their, you know, put all their stuff out there and they want to talk about the things that they're doing and Hey, make sure you come to my show. Hey, make sure you go to my thing. Hey, I'm selling this stuff. You know, there's all these people that are willing and dealing and trying to, trying to make things happen. Um, they're just, just like anywhere else, but Vegas has a very specific way in which they go about these things. And so I, I'm curious, like, how many times have you had someone just walk in who goes like full blown crazy marketing dude and just wants to just like dump a bunch of stuff like, oh man, I have these things and it costs $500 and you should sign up for it. And they just like pitch, 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 not going to stop. How often does that happen? That has to happen a lot there. Um, not so much anymore these days. We kind of run a really? tight. Hawkins and I run a, a pretty tight ship, and I, I'll even include Robert Gilmer in that because he he does uh, help run our meetup as well. We're we're a, a three pack, we're a tripod, if you will. Um, in the early days, there were a lot of people that would show up, and you know, you know they would just hand out their business cards, and they would mingle, and then when we would start talking, they would bounce. You know. Uh... They, you get those people. Um, you also get the people again, you know, they would show up and it'd be like, Hey, sure. You want to talk about, you know, custom post types. Great. And it turned into, hi, my name is so-and-so and I run so-and-so company. And for a fee, we can do this for you. Oh, and by the way, if you want to do this, just, you know, fill out my landing page. It's on my site. We'll get a, a call going. And they were only there to convert people. And, the thing that we do in Vegas now is we, we have never actively pitched our group. Like John and I, we might teach a class, we might teach a WordPress class, but we're not there saying you need to buy my plugin. You need to buy my services. This is like, you know, us giving back, but our, our time is a little valuable. So, but we're not pitching, you know, like, Hey, go sign up for this company or I have a new product and I'll give you 5% off, whatever. Yeah. Um, but but that does come across. There are still people to this day um, that try to exploit WordPress like that. Um, yeah. But fun fact, I was on meetup.com one night, minding my own business, as you do. Um, we found somebody who was um, teaching WordPress. She was in a timeshare mm. in, this, in this building. So... I got on Slack and I got as many people as I could, uh, including Manny, who's a, a frequent of the show. Um, and we had Steve Ripka and Jill went with me. That was actually one of the first times Jill's ever came, come with me is to like this fake WordPress meetup. Um, <laughs> so we got there and this lady was trying to convince people to buy Contact Form 7. She was trying to tell people that I can... I can um, sell you these products to make your website. Like, you know, she was preying on people who didn't know that this was a free service and a free software. So, you know, the only reason I showed up was to tell this lady, number one, stop using the name WordPress on meetup.com because you don't have the authority or the permission. That's number one. That's a real thing, by the way. Number two, I run this town. And so, you know, anything with WordPress, like you're going to go through me. And like that lady has not been back since I made myself very clear. Wow. That's, that's, that's awesome, dude. And very crazy how that went down. (laughs) 
I I care very much about WordPress in general, whether it's in Vegas or Reno or or the country, really. I mean, around the world. But number two, like there were people who showed up to this event who have been coming to our meetup since you know before I was involved with it, and I I look out for people, you know, like I I care very much about what is being said about WordPress because the wrong thing and you can lose 20% of the internet tomorrow, you know? Yeah. It's very hard. So what's, what should someone do? Who's just, who just landed in Vegas? They just got their first apartment. They're just ready to, to just take on the town. What does, what should somebody do? Who's wanting to, to start market doing some marketing work in Vegas? You should go walk the strip. And you should see all the advertisements and all the different forms or methods of advertising that is being done. Um, Because you have the traditional signs, like the side of the flamingo has a picture of Donnie and Marie. Like it's like 10 billion pixels by 10 billion pixels. Cause it's the whole side of a freaking casino that you can see almost from space. Like, you know, you have Penn and Teller that are like on the, on the Rio, like, you know, top to bottom. So you have like big signs like that. You have um, people that are handing out cards. So like you, they actually pay people minimum wage and they have a deck of cards and they sit there and they flip them and they try to hand them out. So there's like that personal thing. There's flyers that there's like um, free small published papers that are there, you know, so like you can just go up and grab one of each if you wanted Then you have like the billboards of every casino, but then you have advertising on every taxi cab. You have advertising of of almost every walkway that comes through. You'll have things that you didn't even know were advertising, but it's like subliminal. I mean, like you can really see different ways that they try to capture anybody passing by to say come into my casino and that's just the outside then you should go into each one of them because inside think of it like this there's kind of a rule that says don't be a jerk when you market in vegas you can say Uh like you can say we have the best buffet you know you can say stuff like that but when you get inside the doors they're going to like they're going to not lie but they're going to over exaggerate why they have the best bu- buffet and like you can kind of see that once you're in their door they're going to sell you hard and not only that they're going to point every way which way you should go they're going to like clearly label buffet this way show this way did you know that you could do this kind of thing like it's very detailed everything has a plan like you think that you're just like minding your own business and you're going to go check out that lobster tank, but that lobster tank was already picked for you because somebody smarter than myself said, I know how to get people to this lobster tank. <laughs> <laughs> so it sounds like, it sounds like there's a, there's, there's a lot of potential noise that you're going to have to cut through at some point to be able to. So it sounds like sometimes even like more traditional marketing might be better than, than trying to add yourself to, a big banner in the sky or a whatever, you know, Ross was mentioning and Ross is like the king of chamber of chamber of commerces. Uh, he, he's the one that pretty much, uh, um, if, if he's going to run anything like you run Vegas, he runs chamber of commerce here in Whittier. He, he may not run the thing himself, but he's definitely the guy that if you want to build a website in, in, in Whittier, um, Ross is going to be the guy that's going to build it for you. And so, um, Ross was saying that, um, that you should probably take a look at the um, the uh, Las Vegas Chamber of Commerce and start getting involved in their networking events. I think that's a great idea because of the fact that Las Vegas is not only a city that has lights and has all this stuff, but it's also a small town on the outskirts of a big, huge city too, right? You have these like clusters right. kind of wrapped around that big, huge, um, you know, crazy spectacle that's happening there. Um, uh, what do you what do you have to say about that like what you know what what's involved in that and what's what's what should somebody look for look for for it i mean there's multiple different ways like i have a good friend here his name is matt campbell and he does weddings he actually owns my wedding my wedding 
um, mm. back, backslash org. Anyways, he's part of the the Chamber of Commerce. He's actually part of a committee for weddings. Um, oh, okay. that, that, that's just in Vegas because there's actually a thing of like all the chapels have a committee or have some kind of board or whatever. So there's you know there's the traditional you you, you jump the the better business bureau you know you go jump on this uh, uh, the chamber of commerce but then you have smaller subsections and it almost gets down to like you name it you could almost maybe form a smaller off brand group. Um, but the Chamber of Commerce is great. You're going to get introduced to a lot of people. There's they um, they have some free networking events, but then some larger ones. Like even though you pay dues or whatever, you might have to pay to get in. You know, just like a WordCamp, you're going to pay a little fee to go network and market and stuff like that. But it's definitely worth it, um, at least to check out once, maybe twice. And you never know who you're going to meet there. Las Vegas is a very collective place of transplants. Um, even people who are just there for the weekend, they might be at the bar that this networking thing is. You could still just meet people just by going there. You know, that's actually yeah. how I, I got to start in a lot of things is just meeting people in bars. Oh, yeah, I do WordPress. Oh, I have a band. Hey, I can hook this up. You know what I mean? Like, like simple things like yeah. that. That's cool, man. Have you ever met Web King? <laughs> I have never met the Web King, but I love the Web King's website. So if you go over, if you go over to websites from hell.net slash view slash Web King US a dot com, go check out his thing. It, it's hilarious. The site <laughs> used to exist. It doesn't exist anymore, but it's it it's it's pretty dang awesome. The guy is literally sitting there with like a photoshopped, you know, photoshopped uh, crown on his head. And he has a little, you know, it's very geo cities and very just. I mean, the, the the number of marquee tags that were on that page were, were silly, <laughs> right. to say the least. <laughs> yeah, I was just curious. I was just curious because, come on, I mean, you're in Vegas, and and this guy's in Vegas, supposedly. Oh my god, he, I, he, I would love to meet the Web King. Web he King, if you're out there, sponsor the show. In Back in 1985, he established his business. I mean, the guy, the guy's been there forever. No, that's cool. No, I, I was, I was curious about how, if you even, if you yourself in your own, um, you know, uh, you know, starting up your own thing and, you know, kind of working that way, if you started approaching the chamber of commerce, when, when I started uh, building my, um, my business up and I wanted to kind of find local, um, you know, local businesses that needed my services. Um, I definitely hit up the chamber of commerce to kind of see if there was a way of being able to kind of get my way in there. And I found out that Ross is my comp competition. And so I wasn't able to, uh, I wasn't able to compete. <laughs> what about, what about Vegas? What's the other stuff that people should be looking at, man? There has to be some other uh, really, really cool, interesting ways in which people are, are doing some marketing stuff in the WordPress space. Like what, what do you know? What are you seeing? And what are things, I mean, like, for instance, the type of work that you're doing now, you're building websites and you're building stuff for a business in, in Las Vegas. There has to be other businesses like that that are looking for folks that are, you know, either wanting to convert their site to using WordPress or they have an existing WordPress site. How should people approach that? So I've done a little bit of everything here in Vegas, which is interesting. Um, I ran my own small freelancing thing. That's how I got involved with the chamber and doing stuff like that. Um, and then I graduated. I like to say graduated. <laughs> um, but I graduated to a small kind of business um, with mortgages. You know, I that's where you and I met working for the mortgage yep. company. Um, that is a different beast in itself because actually in Vegas is something that is sought after. You know, a lot of people come here to retire or a lot of people wishing to, to foresee their future living in Vegas and maybe they're going to put it all on red. I don't know what people do, but, <laughs> um, you know, I did that for a long time and, and that is a separate beast from what I'm doing too because we're looking for people who are well qualified, who are ready to go to like buy a house. And that's, you know, when you think of Vegas, you think of people gambling, losing all their money, hitting the ATM a few times. Those are two different beasts, man. Yeah. Um, but then I left the mortgage company and I started working for web dev studios and I started doing the, the large agency thing. Right. And 
like doing that, being able to go to other businesses and say, hey, I work for this company, you should think about us and going after large scale companies. I learned how to be a freelancer, how to work for a small mom and pop shop up and see their daily operations and like what they really need you know like yes they need a website but they also need an IT guy they also need a social media person they also need someone who could print their business cards you know then I went to the agency aspect where it's like hey this is how you charge a client now this is what it goes into um, rolling up a package and saying like, you know here's our presentation like you don't just sign a contract and start building a thing there's companies that start bidding, you know, in order to use a company yeah. like web dev and they're very smart over there. They know what they're doing. The point is now I work for the Plaza hotel and this is something that I have never done before because this is the livelihood of Vegas. This is what Vegas was built on besides mining. It's gambling. So I work in the marketing department at the plaza and let me tell you something my first day the first thing that somebody said was if you say anything other than life is beautiful you are kicked out of this space so my first day was the was the last couple days before the life is beautiful festival which is a oh, three day yeah. which is a, it's a three day music festival here in Vegas. It, it's, and you timed that just right. <laughs> it's huge. So like the first day I sat there, every word was, Hey, do you have that for, and it always ended with life is beautiful. Hey, are you ready for, Hey, do you have this thing? Hey, I'm going into a meeting. Everything was life is beautiful. If you, if you said anything other than that, get out. <laughs> um, but so they, they had a just their marketing team. That's all they focused on. But at that Wednesday, they were done. They had all their stuff done and they were already going into the next event. So now, um, while life is beautiful was going on and we're celebrating, we're doing all that stuff where we were gearing up for this thing called pickleball. Have, do you know what pickleball is? No, I don't. Get, okay after this show don't do it now but after this show get on youtube and go to uh go look up pickleball it gets real it's like ping pong and tennis with with uh with a wiffle ball and like dude it gets real oh um, my gosh so i may or may not be watching it right now <laughs> so we have, going on right now at the hotel tournament going on on the roof up at the pool there's tennis courts that were converted to pickleball courts and like it is a big thing so for the last week it has been if you say anything other than pickleball get out you know um we are tired like we've come up with different ways of saying the word pickleball because you don't uh -huh. want to um but so like that's what we're doing now today we have stopped we are almost done with pickleball and we are going into super bingo so as of right now, don't say anything other than super bingo. Like, let me no. tell you, I didn't realize how much effort went into something. Like, you know, I don't care so much about bingo. I'm not an avid bingo player. I've maybe played it a few times in school. Um, there's been a couple times I've been drunk and ended up in a bingo hall, but I still haven't been playing bingo. There are there is a um, an actual like bingo website where people get all their bingo news from and like you can have like a membership and like you can actually like play online and if you win like you get flown to Vegas to go compete in tournaments. I mean it is unreal. Like I didn't know that these things exist and seeing how just our team at the plaza now not the size of like an MGM or like a Bellagio or like a Caesar's Palace. But that is not to say that we are not marketing as hard, if not harder than these other large properties, because we are trying to fight for that to get people to our property. So let me tell you about Super Bingo, man. It is unreal. <laughs> and, so and it's a, it sounds like the takeaway that you're getting out of this is the simple fact that that when the marketing company or the marketing uh, the marketing arm of of this organization goes, we're working on something. 
everyone's working on it. It's not just all in, it's 1000% all in. You're really pushing towards that one exact thing. So it sounds like scheduling is definitely a, a, probably a, a pretty big thing that they have going on over there of, here's the next set of events that we need to go through. The, here's the day in which we're gonna stop working on this previous one because no one can sign up for it. Nobody can do anything for it anyhow. We're gonna go straight into the next thing and then the next thing happens and straight into that again. I get that, man. I work at a church. I totally understand that. <laughs> that, that it's hundred percent all in. That Sarah was on with me. We were talking about our content efforts and how we're trying to schedule and get people in. This, like, like they have been working on Life Is Beautiful since the end of Life of Beautiful twenty seventeen. Like wow. they've been, you know, all yeah. year they have been working on things. So like. You know, they have their large scale things like these three big things that are coming up right now. Like they've been working on that for a year, but like now we're looking into the future for like national finals rodeo that's coming up in like November, December time. We have other big things coming up, not to mention just the new year, like new year, yeah. 4th of July. That's a pretty big event. So, you know, like we have to plan that stuff. Like we have, a graphic department like literally like like i didn't know photoshop could move that fast like <laughs> like they are just cranking graphics out left and right and like emailing getting final signatures coming back sending it to go get printed at a print shop having it mailed in and then go and put it on the casino floor like it's all orchestrated like they have it down to almost the exact time and date when this poster is going to be switched by the uh or switched with the poster next to the bathroom like they know it's going at 10 45 like it right. is unreal that's cool man that's cool Think about it like oh. the white, think about it like the White House. As the president's getting sworn in, they're moving one president out. One oh yeah, president. yeah, totally. It's that's cool, man. That's cool. I I I, I love hearing a little bit of the the inside of that. Then that that's that's pretty awesome, man. So, so so meanwhile, like like I'm building something where it's like I'm building this page, and like I need to make the URL active, but hidden. So, like, you know, on a WordPress thing, I can't yeah. have that page being indexed yet because it's not actually here yet, but it's got to be built and approved. So, like, I'm doing things on a WordPress thing where it's, like, saved as a draft. I have a, a, a public URL that I can send to people, but it's not live. I mean, like, yeah. that's, what, that's what I'm doing currently is, like, building a new thing. A new functionality, maybe switching plugins left and right. Um, that's just the website. That's not hooking it up to our database of customers who stay at sure. the hotel. That's not hooking it up to even our email blast and hooking up to our content management system, our database. Like it is unreal. Yeah. There's a lot the, of stuff tying into it. The amount of software we are using. Well, let, let's let's get into that a little bit then so the uh the idea of working for some type of organization like that a working for a um a casino or any of those sorts of things like what should somebody look for i mean i know you were looking around online to try to find that type of work um what did, what did you do in order to be able to find that gig uh, actually i went drinking <laughs> <laughs> As you do in Vegas. Um, <laughs> a friend who will be here in a couple days to celebrate Jameson's first birthday. We're doing his party this weekend. Um, he got a text message from the guy I work with now saying, hey, I'm looking for a WordPress guy. And his, his name is Miles. And Miles goes, hey, man, I know this guy, Russ. He, you know, you guys might be a good fit. Um, and I went in for an interview and was basically hired on the spot. That's cool. That's um, cool. You know, I, I I took my resume with everything that I've done in Vegas, everything I've did for the mortgage company and freelancing and writing my own plugins. Um, I took Jason's advice and I updated my entire LinkedIn. If I've done something with WordPress, it is on my LinkedIn for sure for now. 
as um, it should. <laughs> yeah, you know, as I, it should. I, I went that approach, but you know, like while I was working, I was looking at WeWork remotely. I was looking at Glassdoor. I was looking um, on LinkedIn. Found the mortgage company, so I was going back to Craigslist. I mean, that's almost a lost cause at this point. But there's still a couple of good links here and there. Um, I was like, you know, hitting up Twitter. I was actually like in Minneapolis and I was like networking with people. I was at an event. Like I, I was trying to do that. Like I went full scale trying to find a new job. Um, but it just turns out that when I rolled into the plaza, I talked to the guy. We're on the same page. I told him some things. He told me some things. And we both kind of said the same thing. And it was kind of a mutual fit. That's cool. Do you think that other, do you think that other uh, casinos that are out there are, um, have the same type of uh, marketing efforts that are all in house instead of um, uh, externally facing a company? What do you think? So, so my buddy, miles, uh, dot com. <laughs> um, my buddy, miles, he works at Caesars. And okay. My other buddy, Ben, has been on Water Cooler a couple times. Um, yeah. But they both work at Caesars, and they they have the same kind of process. They have a huge marketing team. They have a whole social media department. They have a whole, like, huge production. A lot of places do have this internal just because, you know, a marketing agent, like, if you don't live in Vegas or if you case here, it's really hard to sell in this market. You know, mm. it, it's really hard just because, like, f forget about the fact that you're competing with other casinos. You also have Metallica and Megadeth that might be playing on that weekend, which is a huge show. You have NASCAR. You have drag racing. You have Nellis Air Force Base coming up doing air shows. You have Red Flag. You have a thing in Pahrump that's going on. You have a thing out in Boulder or Bullhead City. Like, you name it, there is probably as your event. <laughs> right. So and like, you're going to inherit that event if you're working in, in that industry and that, that event comes to you and they have their own marketing department with their own you know assets that are being generated and they're sending them in your way and you're having to figure out. And if you're doing WordPress, you're collecting assets and building sites using those and making sure that the story is being told the way that it needs to be told on the site. Yeah, like we have a show that's at the plaza now. It's called a Mob Story. It just opened up. It's it's a musical, but it's somebody in the mob. Like it is a great show to come and see. But like they are an independent show that is using our theater. But you know, because we want them to do well and we want to make money off of it we're working with their marketing and we're working with their team. And like, I think that goes to show what you were just saying. Not, it's not just, you know, Hey, we're going to let the plaza do it. It's like, we know the show inside and out. We wrote the show, but we need to work together with this company. Yeah. No, that's, that's cool, man. That's the, cool. The, Cause you get to work with, you get to work with other, just like how you're doing at web dev web dev, you're working with, other big brands that are coming into the coming into your facility and wanting to, you know, be able to do their thing there. So that that's cool. I think that's a pretty, a pretty interesting, um, pretty interesting thing there. Cause if you're, if you're somebody who's, who's getting into doing marketing or doing WordPress uh, website, either design development or anything like that, having the ability to, to touch those assets that are made by, you know, Disney or Sony or, you know, D you know, Warner brothers or whatever you get to, you get to play with some really cool stuff. I mean, obviously you don't get to do whatever you want with it, but you get to, you get to interact with some really cool assets that are out there that, and really cool brands that are, um, you know, being used on those sites that you're building. Right. Um, the the biggest thing that I learned is like uh, one of the projects I worked on at WDS was for Campbell Soup Company. Um, you know they have a strategy. Um, they use not only WDS but they're using like Ten Up and they're using other agencies. And so like you know we had to work with them and having to work with another company. Not only that, but like 
they're using a software. So like now we have to, we have to make WordPress talk to Adobe. So we're talking to Adobe people now. Like th that, I think that's what you're trying to say is like, it's, yeah. not, it's not just WordPress. Like people are using WordPress to kind of tie all these different streams together. But mm -hmm. like, it's true. Like you're really, you're really not doing WordPress as much as you think you are because you're trying to connect it to all they do things and that knowledge is just hard to learn unless you're physically doing it and that is why i am the biggest advocate of you know i i think school and education is important but i didn't go to college i sat up late at night smoking hookah between 8 p.m and 8 a.m on youtube listening to jason tucker talk about wordpress and learning how this goes man and like you know, I let me be the testimony to say that, like, you have two choices. You can go learn how all this works and then hope you get a job applying for it. Or you can just go dive in and start, you know, take it apart, put it back together. <laughs> and yeah. and that's, what I, that's what I chose to do is, you know, take it apart, put it back together. I'm really good at taking things apart. Putting it back together is the hard part. <laughs> Oh, that's cool, man. Hey, I, I wanted to transition us a little bit to um, a thing that we do, Tool or Tip of the Week. And you were saying that you had something to plug. Was that the Tool or Tip of the Week, or do you just have something random to plug? Uh, I, I have something to to plug in the WordPress space because, and you and I as well, we are big advocates for women who WP. Um, yep. I, I love Jen Miller and Elizabeth Schilling and everybody in Women Who WP. Um, so I don't know if you guys know this, but if you go over to Jennifer Bourne's website, um, Jennifer, oh, yeah. Jennifer Bourne, B-O-U-R-N dot com, um, she has a link. It's called Accelerate Retreat. Um, it's a retreat for women in business. It's going down uh, February 4th through the 7th of 2019. It's an intimate business retreat in South Lake Tahoe. Oh, that's where I'm from. It's designed to create <laughs> clarity, establish a plan, and accelerate your success. And it's it's for women only. It actually says, "Sorry, men, maybe next year." Um, but but that is something um, that I wanted to plug because I know Bridget would probably be excited to to plug something like that. Oh yeah, so go over to jenniferborn.com yes. slash accelerate hyphen retreat dot com. Go check it out. South Lake Tahoe is gorgeous. Um, I think it's going to be an awesome plan. That's cool, man. That's cool. But, uh, have you, but have you ever have... gone to any of those types of retreats? Have you ever gone to any of those, um, like the ones that Chris Lim has done or the ones that uh, I've seen folks on the East Coast do some? Have you have you ever gone to any of those? Um, camps a few times, but I've never gone to like a camp press. I've never gone to like Cabo press. Um, I mean... Vegas is kind of a lot of company Christmas parties come to, you know, because you want to party in Vegas. I've been to a bunch of those. Steve Zangit um, and Zeke Interactive, I've been to, to theirs a few times. I've been to a, a few ones of like that. But I've never been to anything like Jennifer is trying to put on. And I kind of wish I could go just because, A, I love Tahoe. But, B, you can learn a lot from that, um, from, from that amazing individual that is Jennifer Bourne. Yeah, I, I totally agree. It sounds like a really cool, really cool setup. And it sounds like something that, uh, that uh, women should definitely take a look at and take and uh, take into account because it, it sounds like it's it's something that you'll definitely benefit from. I wish we had a, a women who WP here in Vegas. I'm actively trying to find someone to like help like kick that off the ground. Like, I care very much about getting people into WordPress, um, man or woman, but I I would like us to have a group here in, in Vegas, man. Yeah, uh, I agree. I think I think that'd be neat, and especially if you can get Jill to go over and uh and check that out. I think that'd be I think that'd be super helpful for her. I would love to take her to South Lake Tahoe and just you know, hey, go hang out with these cool people who I know, and you're going to learn a lot about business. I would love to do that. Yeah, that, that's cool. That's cool, man. Well, I, I wanted to, um, I wanted, I was looking for the, I was looking for this update that came out on a WordPress plugin 
so we've been using um, we've been using here on WP Water Cooler uh, a couple different uh, plugins for, uh, to kind of pull off how our videos get displayed on the website. And um, one of the Beaver Builder, um, I want to say it was Beaver Builder add-ons, the um, the uh, Power Pack uh, had a video, um, a, a really nice looking video component that just came out. But I was trying to find if the if it was them or if it was um, Ultimate Beaver. It's one of those two. Ultimate Beaver. Yeah. <laughs> come on, Beaver. Like, if you name your thing Beaver Builder, people have to come up with like something interesting to be able to kind of. That's it. It's Ultimate Beaver. They're the ones that came out with it. So I'll put the link in the notes here so you guys can take a look at it. Um, they came out with this um, this this new kind of um, embed feature um, for Beaver Builder for for videos. And I use video on all my stuff on on WP Water Cooler on WP Blabs um, site. A whole bunch of those different ones. And this this particular one's really neat because it takes the page size, the amount the the amount of time it's going to take to load the video. And it cuts it down tremendously because it's not loading the YouTube video itself on, like on the fly. It's actually um, it's actually loading up a, a static image with a play button on it. And they've been really smart about how this thing's kind of uh, being constructed. And um, I haven't started using it here on WP Water Cooler's website yet, but I'm just about to. And it 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 looks like a really cool way of being able to pull off doing video. So. If you haven't played around with it yet, um, go check out ultimatebeaver.com and then uh, click on their little sidebar um, for, or rather for uh, modules. And there's a new additions, which is a video. And it's pretty slick, man. It's, I mean, the when you have a site that has a whole bunch of videos on it and you want to have all those videos on the page so you don't have to do an additional click or anything like that, you want those to be as optimized as possible. And for having something like this where it's going to have a nice clean play button, it's going to be able to make it so you can... Um, actually be able to have that video play easily. If you're using um, Builder, you can have uh, have that kind of tied in as well. So you could have those um, have those uh, those video URLs ready readily available so they just get dropped in. There's some really cool ways you can play around with it. So definitely Dude, take a look at awesome. it. Yeah, it, it's pretty dang slick. I mean, when you go click on it, you click on the video, it takes a second and then it just plays the video for you. So you don't have to have a bunch of like extra stuff loading. Even when you kind of move your mouse on top of the video, it kind of shows the play button like, hey, click here, click here and, and push play. And you can do lots of customizations with it. So definitely go take a look at that. Ultimate Beaver is totally worth um, uh, buying if you're doing any Beaver Builder stuff. And for like 69 bucks for the basic version of it, it's it's... It's pretty good, and that's that's what I use here on WP Water Cooler site. Wow, man! Like the the I love learning about like all the tools and stuff that you have because like you yourself just marketing each show is is a whole different production. So Ultimate Beaver, wow, interesting. Yep, yep, and they have some they have some great modules in there. I mean, the video one is is my favorite, but the all the extra stuff that they've added in there is pretty now, dang cool. So. Now, like, are you not the biggest fan of how WordPress does it natively with images or, or with, with just dropping the uh, YouTube URL by itself? Or are you looking because it has aspects to it that it, it does what you want, plus it gives you those options? Yeah, it's it's because of the fact, I mean, just doing an O-embed for, um, you know, through, uh, which which is what I'm currently using. I have a bunch of O-embeds that are on there that have some uh, customizations using the hooks to kind of make it look a little bit different and make it so that, like, the, uh, the related videos at the end don't show up and you can hide the logo if you want. All the things that you can normally do within YouTube. Um, but you can do this with without having to have the whole site just kind of bogged down because a whole bunch of embed codes are showing up on the page. So that's the part I really like about it is I don't want a whole bunch of embed codes showing up. Yeah. So and you get another image on the page too, which is which is nice instead of those embeds. So I was in the market for a new WordPress theme. And uh -huh. so I was looking for new stuff and I was, you know, almost about to roll out my new theme. I almost just did my own underscores and was just going to go full blown with it. Um, but I came across, it's called Foxland, F-O-X land dot F-I. Um, this you need service, like you can go and buy premium themes and premium plugins 
Um, Homeboy got a job with a pretty big company inside of WordPress. So he's now releasing all of his stuff for free. So wow. Yeah, so I rolled over and I grabbed one of his themes. And so if you go over to Russell Envy, R U S S E L L E N V Y dot com, if you would go over there, I have this up. You even brought this up. Was it on Water Cooler? That I, I think was so, yeah. The, that I was plugging it. So um, I am getting really big into videos as well. I've been blogging for the last. Um, I mean, I feel like forever, but I've been like really blogging hardcore for like the last three years. Um, I bought this GoPro and I've just been carrying it around with me. <laughs> um, and now that I work downtown on Fremont Street, like on my lunch hour, I will just go and I will start talking about like one of my favorite places um, on Fremont Street. And I'm starting to build on my content. So I really wanted a theme that was video friendly. Um, and I also wanted a theme that I could just have that video as a placeholder instead of having a default image plus the video plus all that stuff. So when I came across Foxland, and I saw this theme. The one I'm using is called Chuchadon or Churchadon, mm -hmm. something like that. Um, once I found that, I said, that is the theme that I want to use. It loads fast. It's very quick. It's built so efficiently, and it does what I want it to do. Um, that is kind of my tip is you have a you have Ultimate Beaver to, to help you if you're using Beaver Builder. But if you're looking for a new theme that you know was paid but is now free, this is a great place to And it's pretty intuitive to just switch over. Like, I had all my posts in a post type. Uh, you know, I had a video post type. I had a blog post type. I had everything. Now everything is under just posts, and I'm using categories, and I'm using, like, WordPress as a default. I'm using the basic functionality of WordPress instead of customizing it. And this theme just really pairs with that, man. That's awesome, man. It looks good. I, I think I think the site looks great. I like the font choices that were used on it. I like the way that the, the kind of the header and the subheads work. It, it's it's a really pretty site. I mean, that's why when I saw it, I was like, wow, this is cool. I gotta I gotta definitely talk about this. Plus, I was trying to get you a job, so I, I had to mention you and be like, dude, go to RussellNV.com. It's like the this guy wants to get hired. Like, hire him. I mean, come on. Why aren't you hiring him yet? If I had a if I had a business, I'd be hiring him for it. Come on, make this happen. Right. So now it's cool. It's cool. It's a cool looking site. I love that, you know, these are free. And if you're looking for a great um, free um, free set of themes, yeah, the, these are the these are the ones uh, to at least take a minute and take a look at them. And there's some dark themes on there. So if you're, you know, if you're a Mac person like I am and you're starting to get into all the uh, the dark dark mode stuff that uh, the new version of the operating system is doing, Did you, you want your website to match, you know? Did you update to Mojave? Be honest. Of course. I'm running that stuff right now. I did that today. <laughs> and I'm telling you, Russ, if you go up to the corner there and you go ah. click on the Apple menu and then you go into system preferences and you go on over there where it says general, there's the dark mode. And you turn that bad boy on. The screen will just change and it's all dark and it's all very Oh, oh no, my man. When I installed it and clicked opera or go and when it installed, it prompted me and it said, would you like light or dark? And I said, I feel like you don't know me, computer. <laughs> <laughs> well, for, for the longest time, the dark mode has been has been something I've really wanted here. I mean, on my phone. I use it, you know, it's like, I, I want to be able to flip, flip those on nice and easily. But when it comes to the computer, I hate where I'm sitting, you know, this is my bedroom. So I hate when I'm sitting in here and I'm working on the computer and like the menu bar on the top of the screen is just like, it's like this like white light, light. just going, pew, just kind of shooting across my eyes. And I look over and there's like this like white cast just kind of shooting across the room. And you're like, oh, geez. Like, I mean, the whole room's dark except for like the menu bar. It looks like aliens are beaming you up in your room. <laughs> yes. So yeah, go take a look at that. Dark mode. Mojave, Mojave is where it's at. Well, Russ, tell folks where they can find you. That you, you told them about wrestlemv.com. Is, is there any like YouTube stuff that you're doing? Is there any other stuff yeah. that you're doing? So I'm on YouTube. I have a couple YouTube channels like Russell Aaron. You can find me Russell A A R O N. 
Um, I have like a bunch of random stuff like WordCamp talks and racing and other things. Um, I'm all my new stuff is going up on YouTube as Russell Envy. So there's a link on my website. Um, I'm I'm on Twitter now as Russell Envy. I still have NQ Russ as well because that's my WordPress. That's kind of my my bread and butter, if you will. But I'm starting <laughs> to build my own brand as as um, myself. So everything Russell Envy, you can like say Reed says, find me as Russell Envy and all the things. <laughs> um, but I mean, for, for the most part, um, I'm here in Vegas for a while. I'm going to be um, having a little girl come into my life in December. So as of December, I might take a hiatus for a couple months. Um, but I plan to come swinging full force back into world. <laughs> Awesome, man. Well, that's that. That's cool, dude. And uh, you know, obviously, we'll see you on WP Water Cooler. We definitely do all the fun stuff on WP Water Cooler. If you're wanting to watch that tomorrow, if you want to get on the show tomorrow, like there are seats available to get on the show tomorrow. Just go over to our website and click on the links over there. There's a there's a link there for uh, it's wpwatercooler.com/events, and that's where you can sign up to get involved in. That that's how I over there. that's how I got on the show. I, I went to be on the show and then I filled out the little thing and Jason was like, Yeah, sure. And you know, I was on like episode ninety six or something like that. Like And then the guy never left. <laughs> yeah, yeah, like I just like Vegas, like at the bar, I have a cot set up out back and like I just I pass out and then I get up and I go back into the bar. <laughs> awesome man well thank you very much for being on the show thank you for all the folks that were um hanging out in the chat room talking with us we really appreciate it and you have a good rest of your night talk to y'all later you guys have See a good morning bye